Okay, so we are continuing coverage of the Tales of Middle Earth set today, and uh, today's deck is going to be a Death Toucher deck, uh, and I guess it's also a little bit of poison related. So what this deck's trying to do ultimately is kill your opponent with either uh, creature damage because we are able to kill all the creatures and the board is clear, or we're going to go in with a uh, poison based approach. So. We're running a bunch of toxic creatures. We have, uh, well, not that many actually. Bilius Skull Dweller, uh, the 1 1 Death Touch Toxic. We have Venerated Rot Priest as a 2 of. Uh, this is just a 1 2 with Toxic. And uh, I guess the other poison card that we have, or the Toxic card, I guess, is Necrogen Communion, an enchantment that gives something toxic too. Uh, and then also lets it come back to the battlefield when it dies. So, what we're trying to do here is basically give our. Uh, creatures as much toxic as possible or cause them to give our opponents as many poison counters as possible so that they're going to die real quickly. And while that sounds pretty intuitive, um, let me tell you that this deck can actually give our opponents quite a lot of poison counters in one shot. Uh, I'm talking about things like the Bilious Skull Dweller um, being relevant both because it has toxic and death touch. So consider playing a Bilious Skull Dweller uh, and then a Necrogen Communion on two. Uh, toxic 2 plus Toxic 1 is Toxic 3, so that is representing 3 poison counters a turn. And uh, if we were to, on turn 3 after that, play a Finn the Fangbearer, uh, the Death Touch portion of Bilius Skull Dweller would also be good for another 2 poison. So this thing could potentially be a 5 poison creature by turn 3, which if your opponent is on some slow non-creature based strategy, might be really bad for them. Uh, that represents 2 turns. Um, so that's one thing that this deck can do. We also have Venerated Rock Priest and some removal and targeting spells. We have Drown and Icker. Target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn, until end of turn, proliferate. So if our opponent's at like eight poison counters, well, we can just target something and Venerated Rock Priest plus this proliferate will be enough to kill them. So uh, there's some potential there. Uh, and then this is obviously also a removal spell for our opponent's creatures. We have Infectious Bite, which is a removal spell because a lot of our things have Death Touch. Uh, and it also gives our opponent a poison counter, so that's good. Uh, we do like to see this, plus Venerated Rot Priest will trigger off of this as well. Uh, and then, other than this, we're just playing a bunch of Death Touch creatures to go with the Finn strategy. Uh, whenever a Death Toucher deals damage to an opponent, they get two poison counters. Uh, so we are going to be trying to uh, make that happen as well. We're running the Bilious Skull Dweller. Foulmire Knight is also a Death Toucher. Uh, Let's see, Finn is a Death Toucher, Chevelle Bane of Monsters is a Death Toucher, plus he gains us some cards potentially. And then finally, the new Death Toucher is Nazgul. Uh, Nazgul is a pretty interesting card because it has the uh, Ring Temptation thing, that whole mechanic, and then it itself is also a Death Toucher, which is pretty good. Um, so we do like to see that. Uh, and we can also have nine of it per uh, deck, which uh, we are choosing to play like that today. So... Uh, what we want to be doing is making this thing really big with uh, multiple copies of it, uh, putting counters on each wraith, and then uh, we want to use the ring power to both get death touchers through so that they can trigger with Finn, and in general get any creature that's uh, got Necrogen Communion on it uh, to hit our opponent. So the uh, first thing where your ring bearer is legendary and can't be blocked by creatures of greater power is kind of a thing that we're playing around. You'll notice that pretty much all of our creatures have a uh, one power, so they can almost be blocked by nothing, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna see today how good the ring tempts you uh, mechanic is, and hopefully it will lead to some wins today. Uh, as we hop into some games, if you've been enjoying the content and the uh, looks into uh, the tales of uh, the, this new set, <laughs> the one ring set, um, I hope you'd consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video as those are the uh, easiest ways to support the channel. Um, with that out of the way, let's hop into some games and play some death touchy Nazguli magic right here. Let's go. All right, round one coming in hot. We have actually the hand that we really do want to start with here, Billy Skull Dweller into Finn into Nazguls. Seems pretty solid to me. Uh, we're gonna run it like this, boom, boom. Turn two Finn, turn three Nazgul. Uh, let's play it like this. Lotus Cobra, interesting. 
Uh, we are going to offer them a trade here, I believe. Um, do they want to give up some of their ramp for my Billius Cold Waller? Alright, nice. They get three poison, and we are well on our way. So now Drown and Icar becomes pretty good. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is just Nazgul out of Billius Skull Dweller. And oh my god, this is going to be... This is going to be fast. Uh, here's a Nazgul. We're going to make the Billius Skull Dweller our uh, thingamajig. And we're hopping in with an unblockable Billius Skull Dweller. Oh, I guess they could have blocked with the Atlanta War Elf if they wanted to. They go to 6 poison. They're going to ramp out a bit here. They have access to 6 mana. Luckily, it's just another Elvish Mystic. Um, okay, so I have 4 mana here. I have to decide what I want to do with it. Uh, we'll play black. And I think I'll just Cheville plus Drown in Icker. And we want to get rid of the Lotus Cobra so that they can't kill anything except for Billius Cold Dweller. And we will choose to do this. <coughs> they have two blockers, and we have what is potentially a lethal attack here. Nice. Oh, we were able to manage their board and get in under their threats that they were trying to ramp to. Nice. That's our round one. Let's move on to round two. Okay, we got round two coming up. We have... A pretty decent hand. I think uh, Billius Skull Dweller plus Cheville with Infectious Bite is not terrible. We'll give it a try. I prefer Cheville was a uh, thin, but that's okay. <clears throat> Organizing my hand right here. Looks like this is about how we'll play it. And here we go. Right on in. Billius Skull Dweller. Being on the play with this deck is pretty important. Uh, we see blue, black, this could be mill, this could be rogues. Uh, I'm thinking, what if we just get a shimmel in now? I mean, they could play something, but I think I'll wait for next turn to infect this fight. Alright, here we go. What are they going to play? If this is mill, I want to hold up for a Bruvac. That's probably their most dangerous creature. Other than that, I think I will... Uh, just try to go in with some Nazgul's. All we need to do is get a pretty good start with the Infect going. Uh, with the Toxic, rather. And then uh, from there, hopefully some of our spells will be able to get us over the finish line. Uh, they've ramped it. Oh, ho, ho. it is a good day when we draw our Finn with two Death Touchers on the board. Uh, so this is five Poison. <laughs> Uh, they have to produce a creature or remove a creature right now this turn, otherwise they're going to be dead. Bad time to take a setup turn for my opponent. Let's see what happens. Okay, they may have just gone AFK. Uh, oh, no, they're still here. Hard to tell sometimes. People take a while in these uh, on these arena games. Okay, so what's the movement going to be from our player? They play a shield, which is interesting. Uh, what we will do then is go ahead and, before we even draw, kill our shielded. And our opponent's going to be dead. We also gain three life and draw a card because why not hop in with uh, six more poison and our opponent is going to go to 14. Well, I guess they'll die immediately at 10, but you know what I mean. Wow, all right. Another poison victory. Uh, very cool. Let's uh, move on to round three. Okay, round three it is. Uh, we have a couple death touchers and then a Nazgul. I'll give it a try. I think this is definitely one of the worst hands that we've seen. Uh, we'll lead with a black mana source and get a Skull Dweller on board. That for sure is our best turn one. Uh, I'd much rather have that than a Falmire Knight unless there's a Finn in my hand. Okay, so definitely a combo deck here. Uh, let's go ahead and just make some other creatures. 
gonna go ahead and make a double death toucher. Honestly, at this point, uh, I know that they're gonna want to use their uh, creatures for a combo turn, so I'm happy to trade here. And it looks like I'm right because I think in any case they would probably want to uh, trade with that. So they need. Oh, okay. So this might be a creature tokens deck. That's interesting. Uh, what we'll do then is. Uh, play a land, play a Nazgul, and then have Billy a Skull Dweller do its thing. Boom, boom. Uh, we'll go in here, and honestly, I'll just go in with everything. Uh, we'll take these trades. Falmire Knight can help me draw a card. I think I do need to look for a Finn at this point. Uh, I wonder if this is a Indomitable Creativity deck. They don't have the mana to cast it yet. Oh, we got a fin. That's huge. So I can... I don't even need to shock here. I can just play a Falmar Knight and do a fin. Boom. No, oh, I don't know why I shocked right there. I did not need to do that. Uh, now we have a fin here, and they're going to have to block the Falmar Knights or double block the Nazgul. Uh, this is a lethal attack here. So they're going to need to block at least one creature. We'll see if it's worth it to them to uh, drop off both of their creatures. Uh, creatures gain indestructible. Okay, interesting. That's pretty cool. So, are they just going to go on Falmar Knights? What? <laughs> yeah, two Falmar Knights. That makes sense. They still take a lot of poison, though, so that's good. Uh, they go to seven. And with Billy Skull Dweller still having the, uh, being our ring bearer, I think we are going to be solid. Intangible Virtue, sure. They've got three mana here. They're going to need to make more creatures. Forbidden Friendship is a sorcery. I'm not sure if they can flash in anything. Um, the question is, should I just take this slow? Or should I just go in like this? I think I'll just go in like this, keep Finn back. Uh, and then they will be forced to block once each here. I just realized that I could have gone in, and yes, okay, it wouldn't have mattered because they would have Volcanic Spited me, uh, but that's fine. I was thinking that I probably could have just attacked with them, uh, since they were forced to block in the configuration that they did. We'll put out another land here, and then, I mean, it's uh, two, two turns here. These creatures always are too big to block the ability of Skull Dweller, and now we're going to be able to give a Toxic 2 for the win. Alright, we do 11 poison and they're dead. We're having some pretty good games here with the, uh, with the poison deck. Uh, let's move on to round 4 and see if our luck continues. Alright, it's round 4 and let's see what we have. Double Venerated Rock Priest. I almost want to keep this hand. Uh, if we draw into something solid here, this could be a move. We've had some good luck here with the aggro hand, so I'm down to give it a try. Here we go. I don't think I need to use the Foul Marinate to draw a card. I'd rather just get bodies on the field. Uh, let's see, what are we looking at here? A Zagoth Triumph, so a slow deck, possibly combo. Um, I do control a Swamp, so I can get this out on green. And we'll just go Foul Marinate, Venerated Rock Priest. This is two Toxic Creatures onto the board. More to come. Maze Mind Tome. Okay, so they're playing slow. We are going to need to watch out for a lot of different things that will hurt us. Um, I'm questioning if I want to do a Nazgul now or not. I think I probably just want to get a Rot Priest in. It doesn't curve me out. Well, I guess I could try to curve out. I'm already going to get two more poison counters here. So yeah, maybe I'll just go ahead and do a Nazgul. Um, let's see, what do we want to do to make the ring bearer? I'm saying that it's probably just still Billy a Skull Dweller. Swing in, they take three, take two more poison. That is good with me. Uh, Zagoth Triumph in tapped. Another Rot Priest, I think I might hold this one. Uh, it's two poison a turn, they take a non-trivial amount of damage. But 
if they kill the board, then I need to have a creature to play. All right. Take five, take two poison. We'll go to 11 and five poison. Okay, and we'll end the turn there. They're starting to uh, draw out here. Oh, this isn't like a Maelstrom Pulse or something. That'd be bad. Oh, all right, and we have a potential kill here. Rot Priest. See if they want to counterspell this. I hope they do. Nope, here's Finn. Will you counter this? This is a must counter. Alright, this is lethal. Sure, we'll sack the venerated rock priest. What else you got for me? Yep, uh, I will lose the Falmire Knight. And uh, that should be it. Alright, that's a lot of poison. Up to 11. Wow. Uh, these games are going by real, real quick. That's cool. Um, okay, so that was our round four. We haven't had a round last more than four minutes. That is crazy. Um, well, let's uh, hop into round five and see how fast that game goes. Here we go. Okay, final round. Here we go. We have a Finn. We have a Cheville, a Nazgul. So we start on turn two, but then we can do a pretty good amount of things. I'll give it a try. Okay, and then we'll decide what color to play next turn. Okay, let's do, uh, we'll be playing probably a lot of black spells, so we'll do it that way. Take damage off of Cheville. If they play a creature, hopefully we'll be able to kill it. Nice. Okay, so on our upkeep, we will put a trigger onto Voldaire and Epicure, and then I'm going to drop out a Finn. And they will need to uh, block Cheville and trade their creature if they would like to avoid two poison counters. We'll have to see what they're trying to use these uh, Voldaire and... Uh, Blood tokens for. Swing in. Uh, I'd like for them to block here because that gives me an opportunity to draw a card, but I will always be happy for my opponent to get poison counters. Cool. That is fine with me. Uh, my ideal next draw is a land so that I can do Foulmire Knight plus Drown and Icker. Uh, Garna. Okay. Uh, Garna. Garna does die to Drown and Icker, which we have two of. So we'll need to watch out for reanimation. I think. We'll see. Curse of Leeches doesn't matter when we have uh, Infect. Oh, yes, and we drew the land that we needed. So I will decide right now that I want to play this. And I think the move is to just proliferate. Uh, we just need to get going. Boom, boom. We get our life and card, and we now have backup Finn. So I think no matter which way this goes, I probably just have lethal next turn. Uh, they need to wipe the board. They can do it. I hope it's just targeted removal, though. They need to kill Finn. Finn is the problem. Okay. Back up two, so it makes it a 3-3, and now they kill Finn. One sack this creature. Yes. Okay, so... I hope that they do it in response to the Cheville trigger. Oh, let's go. Alright, they didn't know it, but that just lost them the game. Here's back up Finn. We go to 17, and they go to 11 poison counters. Wow. I am blown away by the speed of this deck today. Um, in my testing, I did not go 100% like I did just now, but, um, you know, I, you know, pleasantly surprised with what this deck can achieve. Um, and I guess that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is one of the uh, quickest ones that I've had, so uh, 
I guess you'll just get a bit more of the rest of your day now. Um, anyway, with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, drop a like and subscribe because those are the things that help me out the most. Um, I'm happy that you guys have been around for the... Uh, the Tales of Middle Earth reveal here. We're putting out decks every day uh, until we run out of content, and uh, then we'll be back to our regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload. Uh, if you have comments or ideas for decks that I should play with these new cards, drop them in a comment below. Uh, always interested in hearing about the new things to play. Uh, with that out of the way, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.